Welcome back, session 18. Glad you could join us. Want to just make a brief recap of 2024. I know you're busy with the holidays. I hope everything is going well for you guys. Session 18, uh, 2023 recap. Dow Jones was ended up uh, 12%. Uh, I'll go over my wins. Uh, Matson Freight, 50%. Shopify, 70%. Meta, Facebook, 43%, Adobe, 44%, and Tesla at 60%. All of these I had sold outside of Tesla. So all of these I took a profit on, and these are the percentages listed. And the, I guess the reason behind this, the, it was possible because I was able to log everything. And by logging it, I was able to not only just keep track of the market in itself, but stocks I had an interest in, kind of like the list we're building now. So out uh, of this list we started a few weeks ago, I pulled the trigger on Harley and there's other ones of interest. And as we go on throughout 2024, you know, bring that up to your attention, letting you know, you know, how, how I'm doing, the gains, the loss or what have you, the plan going forward. And that way you can kind of, do your trading vicariously through me and learn through me and what I've done here. I had an outstanding 2023. I think 2024 will be just as good. Uh, this year, losses, I didn't sell anything for a loss. I contemplated, you know, obviously I do have losing positions. Uh, Intel was one of them, and now it's positive. I have a good friend that works there. and He told me that he actually, actually a couple of people that work there. And they both said that uh, they think they have they think they have a solid future there, and they feel good about being employed for five, ten years to come. So I feel good as an investor knowing that, and I like what they're doing as well. Uh, they have a strong brand and whatnot. Um, my other uh, loss losses not this year. I didn't do any losses this year, but in the red, you know, I have like Dutch Brothers. And Qdell, Qdell, I bought during the pandemic and I was just greedy. You know, I wanted more than like I 157%, I want to say. So I wanted another 20%. I don't know what the number was exactly. Like I, I remember trying to sell it at like 300 and it just never happened. And then one downturn led to the next. And before I knew it, I was in the in the red on that one. So. I learned from that, but I didn't sell it. So it's not a loss. You know, maybe I DCA it going forward. I, I do keep track of it. Um, Dutch Brothers, I, I didn't know about BlackRock. So I was kind of blindsided by that whole thing when I bought it a couple of years ago. I do love it. You know, if I, I'm not really a huge coffee drinker, but when I am in the mood for coffee, I, I love their caramelizer. And I just see a big crowd with all the locations here in Arizona. So that's why I invested in it. I knew that, you know, I wouldn't be profitable right away, but long-term. And then BlackRock came in the picture right after that. So now it's kind of like, now I got to make decisions uh, going forward. But I just like to be transparent. You know, that way you don't think whatever I do is just a win. Lately it is I, because I learned from my losses and more diligent and work harder. I put a lot of work into my log and finding companies but for the year 2023, these are the ones that were on my hit list and I just overlooked it for one reason or another, Carvana. There were $3, you know, and they're right up the street from me. And if you don't know what that is, it's a whole new way of selling cars, basically to use an app. And it's a huge vending machine. You know, it's, I think it's like six stories high. So it's advertised from freeways and whatnot. And, and pretty much you don't, deal with a sales rep, I, you just go get a code and get your car, you know, so it's all done pretty much online or through the app. So that was low $3. Now they're back up to 52 target 108. I think they're hitting 130. But yeah, 108 was just unbelievable. You know, I, I like shopping at target. I think it's far superior to Walmart. I think if target did a couple more things in the right direction. I think they could eliminate Walmart altogether. I think Walmart is in huge trouble. Started with Sam's Club and they knew they couldn't compete. Costco being a superior wholesaler and they had to eliminate Sam's Club and then 
now Walmart struggling to figure out Costco and Target is solid for its own reasons. And I think Target going forward has a bright future. Uh, Hershey, I was up 70% and instead of pulling trigger, I didn't. Now Hershey has like a three to 5% gain. So nothing, you know, when I first bought it, I bought it for long term. Granted, if anything goes up beyond like 40, 50%, it's always tough, right? Like it's, it's a hard decision. I, my gut says sell, you know, take the 40% like I did in some of these companies like Adobe, you know, I love Adobe. I'd buy and sell them again. Meta, I'm not kind of, I don't know about the future there. So I don't, depending on the price, the price I bought, it was just unreal. Like in the earlier year, it got crashed and I picked it up for unbelievable price. But going forward, I, I would have to reevaluate it. If it's low enough, of course, I would pick it up. Mats and Freight, I'll definitely pick that up again. And the other company that I kind of want to bring up was PSA. PSA, I did time perfect. Like, <laughs> I was unbelievably accurate. Like, I sold close to $400. And right after I sold, it crashed to like 270 And now it's making a run up again. So that's one thing. PSA, they're public storage. I think they're the largest storage here in America. There's a lot of them, though. So I'm going to keep checking it. But that one, uh, I will definitely put on my hot list along with a couple other companies that I noted that I want to look at as well. The Lee 100, I still have to do. I'll get into a video tomorrow addressing you know what companies that I'm booting and what companies are going to replace instead of it. And those are companies I look forward to possibly investing in 2024. A lot of this is patience. You just have to wait to the right time these little percentages make a huge difference and as we go on you'll learn that with the channel other than that i appreciate you guys uh being here happy new year and we'll get back into it tomorrow have a good one thank you bye